Hey everyone, Nittany Line Roar here, and I'm back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to get an entire set of legendary Nomad armor absolutely free. Now, I'm sure you don't want to hear me yap, so I'm just going to dive right in. I opened up the Night City map to show you that most of the legendary nomad armor is going to be located in the Badlands, which are basically all of the areas outside of the city limits. And there are several main areas like this. Let's start with the outer torso. There's a very specific piece of nomad armor called the Duo Layer Microplate Mesh Nomad Jacket, and that's found in the southernmost Badlands down here. You can see I'm circling the area where it's going to be located. If you have a fast travel point at the regional airport, you can just go down there or just drive down the center of the map until you get to this little rectangular area of street with a little red building in it. When you go to the building, it's an abandoned shack and there's a bunker underground, which you can break into if you have a body level 13 or higher. But since that's not really an early game piece of armor, I'm going to show you a great alternate, which is located in a part of the city that's much more familiar to you, which is... Watson. I'm going to zoom in on the location. The fast travel point is called Bellevue Overwalk. And when I zoom out a little bit more, you can see it's right next to the bridge that goes into Watson. So you can either select that fast travel point to get there or just come down the main street, walk down and look for that particular point. It is located, as it says, on an overwalk. So once you get here, you'll see there's a staircase over here to your left which is where you're going to want to go up so let's run over here and before we go up here this is where it's important to stop and save your game because you never know what you're going to get with the armor and sometimes you're going to have to save and reload and reload and reload until you get the exact piece of armor that you want i'm going to run up the steps here and you can see that's where the legendary armor is. This one is the Duo Layer Polymide Rocker Vest, a good alternative to the other Nomad piece that I was telling you about. The reason you want to save and reload is because you only get a certain number of mod slots and it's random. You can see in this one I have three, but there's a max of four with the outer torso. Every other piece of armor gives you a max of three, but I want to make sure that I get my four mod slots, so I'm going to keep reloading until I get that. Now that I've saved and reloaded until I got the legendary armor with four mod slots, I can go ahead and equip that. And this is a particularly good one because I got plus 30% crit damage with this. And crit damage is really, really powerful. So that's nice to see there. And we have one open slot. Now, how strong the armor actually is depends on your technical ability. As you can see, mine's like kind of middle ground right now. But as you upgrade that, you can upgrade your legendary armor so that it gets stronger and stronger. Now that we got this, let's find the next piece. Next, we're going after the inner torso item, which is called the Polycarbonate Nomad T-shirt with reinforced seams. And to get there, we're going to go from this fast travel point at the Bellevue Overlook down to the Badlands, which I had showed you earlier. The easiest place to fast travel to is the regional airport if you have that. And if not, just go down the main road and start traveling along the southernmost border. But if you're coming from the airport, Get on this road right here, this straight road heading east, and it's going to be located right around here. Let me show you how to get there. Go past these bad guys. And now we're looking for this van in the middle of the desert. Here it is, and as usual, make sure to save and reload until you get the piece that has three slots in it. 
The next piece we're going after is called the Manganese Laminate Nomad Gas Mask. And this is really the piece that's going to make this look like a Mad Max type of build. So you can see I put the route up here. Of course, this is the desert, so you can just drive straight to the waypoint. Or you can go to this fast point here, Auto Works. And then uh, that will shorten the distance that you have to get there. Once you get here, you can see it's in a box on the couch. Again, make sure to save and reload until you get the piece that you want. The next piece of armor we're going after is called the Durable Bio Leather Nomad Western Boots. And it's actually quite a bit of a drive. So if I zoom out here, you can see I selected the route. We're going to have to go to the easternmost part of the Badlands to get here. And there are some fast travel points out there. Or you can just select this point on the map and drive there so what we're looking for up here is a gas station and once you get to the gas station stop and get out In the back of the gas station there is going to be this underground area which looks a little ominous because there's this giant trail of blood going to it and when you open the door there it is the durable bio leather nomad western boots as always again make sure to save and reload until you get the one with three mod slots now that you have the boots you're going to zoom out a little bit and you're going to want to go over to this little neighborhood out here in the badlands and the best fast point to get to is rocky ridge if you've discovered it if you haven't it's just a short drive through the desert there. So let's be on our way. Once you get to the Rocky Ridge Fast Point, you're gonna see that you have to weave through the neighborhood here and take note of where this waypoint is because there's a house here that has a basement. I'm gonna zoom out to give you a little bit more perspective but you're going to want to set your waypoint there so that you can make it there. All right, once you get to this brown van thing, you know you're here. Here is the house with the basement. Run down the stairs. You're gonna have to use a level five technical ability to get in. And there it is, the cushioned techie baseball cap. Now, there isn't a lot of good nomad gear around, but this is one of the best legendary headgears that you can get, so again, save and reload until you get the one that has three mod slots okay now that we have the hat with the three mod slots this is starting to look pretty cool definitely nomadic but there is one piece left to get and that is the anti-piercing tactical media cargo pants and i'm gonna back back out here so that i can show you the map i'm gonna zoom out we actually have to travel back into the city here and it's relatively easy to get to it's a straight shot on the main road here that goes deep into the city. There's a big building that goes over the river and we're gonna stop just short of that. Now it's easiest for me to explain to you how to get here uh, from the Republic and Vine fast travel point, although there is a fast travel point that is closer. So if you're good at finding your way around, you can just go to Lele Park and it's located on the roof of this little convenience store right here called Cirrus Cola. I just think it's easier to see from the front. I'm a visual person, so I'm gonna go to this waypoint and then I'm going to navigate to the convenience store from there.
Okay, once you get to Cirrus Cola here, your goal is to get onto the roof here, which you might have to get creative doing unless you've upgraded your legs, which I have done. Allow me to show you. My legs have been upgraded to fortified ankles, which allow me to hold the space bar to charge the power of the jump and then release to jump. So I'm going to do a power jump to get up on the roof where I should find a dead body that I'm going to loot. And there we go. And there's our anti-piercing tactical media cargo pants. As always, again, make sure to save and reload until it has the three mod slots. And there you have it. It is a full free set of legendary nomad armor. And you can get this relatively early in the game. And look at this. I think this just looks super awesome. It's very Mad Max-like, and I can't wait to get out into Night City and start using it. There is one thing that I think is worth mentioning, and that is that it's going to have different stats and attributes based on when you get it. Really, it's based on your character level, in particular, the technical ability. And you can see I'm sort of like mid-range right now. So yours is definitely going to vary from mine. And that's okay, because if you click on the crafting tab and then click on upgrades, you can keep upgrading this throughout the game so it stays relevant the whole time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I drop more videos and I will catch you in the next one.